Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and this is my aftermarket stereo that supports CarPlay, so let's plug it in here. You'll see the screen will change here. We've got a little CarPlay icon and then it pops up. So it says CarPlay. We'll set that aside and take a closer look. So here's the CarPlay interface. If you haven't seen it before, you've got your quick apps on the side here, recently used, and then you can just swipe to whatever you need. You can go to Google Maps, of course, and then go into whatever you'd like. Now, the nice thing is, is Google Maps is really well integrated. It does use Google's own voice. Let's go into it. Now you'll see we're in Google Maps and it's dark because I'm in a garage and my lights are on. If I turn my lights off, it will go back to, to bright. So turn the lights off, turn the lights on, and it switches back and forth automatically. So that's really nice. Now, as you can see, I have a notification. If I wanna quickly switch between applications, I can do that easily on the left. Tap on this and then tap. 313131 sent you a new message and it will read the notification to me. I can go back home with this, and then I can ask for directions by asking Siri. So I can tap and hold this button, get directions to Starbucks. And you'll see whether you like them or not, I know that they're a little bit of a distance away and a good place to drive to. So here's all my options. If I pick the first one, it will use Apple Maps by default. Now, I don't want to use Apple Maps, so I want to use Google Maps. So let's check that out. We'll go into Google Maps. There we go. And Google Maps has a lot more options. So if we tap on the display, you can add a destination or go here, and you have a bunch of different options. You can see avoid highways, avoid tolls, avoid ferries, satellite map, and north up. Let's use the satellite map, and you'll see there's the satellite. It works really well. We can move the display around. And this is just an aftermarket display, uh, Kenwood, but you can use on any one that supports CarPlay. And it moves pretty quickly. And then we can ask it for directions using the microphone down here. Find the closest Starbucks. And there's all the different ones. So we'll pick this one. And then you'll see it looks very similar to Apple Maps. And that's because Apple locks them to the same interface so they really can't change it too much but they can do their own map overlays so we'll hit go turn left onto nautical drive then turn right onto latitude lane so let's go ahead and drive now it may be a little bit noisy because i'll have to have the air conditioning on but let's take a look and see how it works Now you'll notice that Google Maps does not give the speed limit. So where Waze and Apple Maps actually will give you the speed limit. Now if I wanted to quickly switch between Apple Maps and Google Maps, even though that's still running, we can do that. So you'll see it's working right there. We can quickly switch between Apple and Google. So we'll go back here and go back in and it remembers the state. We don't have to start over again. Of course, if you don't like the satellite view, you can always change that. We'll just get rid of the satellite map, and then you've just got your drawn map. You've arrived. Now, one thing I noticed that it did not do since I've been using this is it didn't tell me welcome to North Carolina. A lot of the times I'll go between North and South Carolina, and this time it didn't tell me welcome. So it doesn't have that feature. It also doesn't show street view when you pull up to the location. So that part is not there. Now, one thing to note is you can search for destinations too. So you can say add a destination, home, work, other gas station, saved places, and recent searches. So maybe we want to find a gas station. It will look for those, and there's the price of them as well. So that's the price of gas 
near here. So that part's really nice. And then also you can program work in recent places. So you'll see there's some recent places that you can check out and it will just give you directions immediately. So maybe I wanted to go to Ikea. It tells me how far it is. It gives me the option of more routes and how long it will take. So more routes, we can go via this highway or this one and it tells us the overview and shows us the traffic. So unfortunately, you can't use Siri to ask for directions unless you go into the map application itself and then use the little microphone button that appears. Now, one thing you can do that's kind of neat is if we go back here, add a destination, other, we get a full keyboard so we can type our destination as well. So maybe the it's not picking up what we're saying. We can actually type it in here instead of going to our phone and then going back to here. So that part's really nice. Let me know what you think about Google Maps in Apple CarPlay. And if you'd like to see any more about this, let me know in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.